What's up guys? This is my first attempt at building an inverted pendulum robot. Uh, so far, I've worked out that it's hard to tune PIDs. So, the idea is you've got two wheels and the robot measures the angle of where it is and we use the motors basically to adjust uh, the robot's position to balance itself. So the way this one works, on the bottom here you've got an IMU which measures the angle of the robot and sends the data to an Arduino Uno. So then the Arduino Uno calculates uh, using a PID how strong we should be driving the motors and it sends the values to the motor controller here. This is called a dual H-bridge motor controller and you use this to then control these two geared motors down the bottom. Uh, and also on each motor you can see just here there's an encoder which allows it to track how far the motors tra traveled around. Uh, so yeah, let's turn it on uh, and see how it goes. I've got three potentiometers here to control the PID tuning. So we've got KD, KP and KI and I can tune them whilst it's driving to get an idea on uh, how well each sort of tuning will allow the robot to balance. So they're all set on, set on zero at the moment. So then if I just drive up the P, you can see it's kind of reacting there. So I'll turn it. So that was too much P. So there's a bit more P, a bit more P. So if I turn up the P a little bit more so it reacts bigger, it still runs away. It's still running away even though it can't, like it can't really catch up when it starts falling. Uh, so you can... Just turn the P down a little bit. You can also turn the D derivative up which stops those oscillations but uh, I found this robot is just going just shuddering quite a bit so I hooked it up to the telemetry which I'll bring up on the screen now uh, and you can see when it gets into those oscillations like that you can then turn up the D but then it turns it into these small shutters rather than reducing the oscillations. So, I hooked up to the telemetry. The bottom graph is the motors. So you've got the bright green line is the position where the motors should be based on the encoders. And then the red and dark blue line is where they actually are. So you can see if I move the robot around, the motors follow that point. And then the upper chart, the red line is the measurement of the angle, and then the output of the PID to the motors based on that. So that blue is telling it uh, the RPM speed that the motor should be traveling to remain balanced. So I'm just gonna turn up the P, uh, the gain. And you can see it gets into those violent oscillations. And then if I turn up the D, then it doesn't really reduce the oscillations, it just gets into this violent sort of shuddering and it kind of can balance and then just runs away. My thoughts are, the first thing is I think the robot is too heavy. So it's getting to this point about there in the angle and it's sending a maximum acceleration or velocity to the motors but the motors aren't fast enough to be able to catch up and stand it up. So I think making the robot lighter, uh, so maybe using some carbon fiber instead of the wood, and then also bringing the battery down a little bit lower. It is meant to make it a more stable system, putting it up higher, but 
I'll just give it a go. And then also I've read a lot of places that bigger diameter wheels work a lot better. So I think uh, that allows you to travel at a greater speed, but also if you've got a larger wheel with a larger mass and you accelerate it, there's a larger torque acting on the robot in the opposite direction to help stand it up. So I'll probably change the chassis around and see if that makes a difference and then it'll probably be down to a software problem. And if you've got any ideas on how to fix it, please comment.